Hey everyone, welcome to Tech DIY. So in today's playground session, we are going to touch upon the handling application-wide exceptions uh, with controller advice and exception handler. So for this tutorial, we are going to follow. Uh, for this session, we are going to follow two tutorials. Basically, one is uh, how to do how to do in Java, and the other one is Vince Guru. So the references for both of them are uh, presented on the screen as shown on the screen so let's get started so here comes our very own launchpad that is start.spring.io we are giving the name of the application as spring boot exception handling and uh, uh, we are making a cradle project uh, in Java and uh, the dependencies we are having as uh, Lombok and web developer our uh, Spring Web uh, Spring Boot Web and uh, we are importing the project and uh, that's it that's that's what we are doing here in this step and uh, the project structure would be we will be having model class and controller class in model we will be having two models uh, one is our uh, we, uh, for this particular session, we are considering a use case of uh, blogs. So we are having uh, uh, a model called blog and each blog would be having ID, title and content. And then uh, for this use case, we will be having the exceptions uh, will be having uh, named as uh, blog post exception, which will be uh, a model class for you know showing the error code and uh, messages encapsulating error code and messages into that and we will be using that uh, in the case of errors so yeah that's pretty much of it and the other thing is we will be having the controller package in controller we will be having one simple controller and the other one is uh, controller advice for uh, for error scenarios and apart from that we will be having one service package that service package will be having uh, uh, some hard coded values uh, which will be shown uh, which will be shown and we are manually we are throwing some exceptions uh, so that we can you know show how uh, this particular scenario will work so with that uh, as you can see we have created the blog class and now we will create uh, the second class that is the uh, blog post exception let's give the name as blog post exception and have the uh, members like uh, error code and the second one is message of type string, uh, string add data add data will generate the getter setters for us all our constructor will gen and no our constructor will generate the constructors for this and uh, now we will see we will create the uh, uh, service class so block service we are going to create and as I said earlier here we will simply we will be reading uh, two methods we will be having get all blocks and the second one is get by ID get block by ID method so get uh, so we are just uh, declaring them and uh, we are annotating this uh, particular implementation with uh, service class uh, and uh, yeah that's it so we are uh, writing the implementation here and again the implementation uh, will be uh, as i said earlier we are we are hard coding for this particular uh, small session we are going to hard code few values here yeah so get all blocks will return us a list of blocks uh, with uh, their corresponding id uh, title and content so that's what we are going to here uh, do here in this post construct method so basically the post construct uh, comes into picture after uh, bin creation so as its name suggests post construct post construction means once construction is done then we need to set the variable set the initial or initialize the things so that is what this init method is doing here okay so that's what we are doing here let's have three uh, three uh, very uh, let's have three values here uh, for or three blocks here 
and similarly get all by id we, we, we will be fetching from this list and uh, we will be having a filter over there which will be filtering it filtering it out and yeah as i said earlier we will be using we will uh, we will be randomly throwing uh, some exceptions basically the runtime exception will be throwing from here so this thread local random is again a class uh, you can google it for more details uh, it will be randomly generating the uh, values but outside our thread context and we'll be providing out of the box those values so that is what this uh, particular class would be doing and you can further check on the uh, class definition the find by uh, find block by id will be uh, as its name suggests it will be we are uh, we are uh, giving the input as id and it will be returning us with that id and if there if it is not found we will be uh, throwing that uh, exception runtime exception so that's what we have written there and uh, yeah this is the site i was telling about wins guru so here for this example i found it's very simple and uh, straightforward example to achieve this functionality uh, so we followed this time this example for this uh, playground session so let's write the controller uh, for our uh, classes so we are adding this uh, uh, controllers here so one is block controller which is nothing but two uh, two paths we will be having here slash block and find as I as it's as I uh, already told one is uh, find all blocks and the second one is uh, block by ID so those two will be actually we will be uh, passing on the button or passing the request uh, to block service methods here from here so we are having these get mappings here yeah uh, and passing the id variable and the path variables we will be adding here add path variable with add path variable and id so this mapping we will be providing there and finally yeah uh, so this is uh, our block controller is done second is block post exception mod uh, exception uh, sorry blog uh, uh, i would say i would say the name as uh, blog exception controller and this blog exception controller would be having uh, returning the response entity and it would be having the at exception handler uh, annotation which says like okay if this particular exception in this case exception dot class if this kind of exceptions are thrown then this method handle generic exception uh, this particular method should be called okay and if it is a runtime exception then we will be writing a separate method for runtime exception so this way we can have we can write our own uh, methods and map them to particular exception classes so that's what we are doing here uh, we are having two uh, two methods uh, two flavors of this method one is for generic and the other is for you know runtime exception we can have different names here yeah so that's what we have done here now uh, we have reached uh, in the testing phase so before uh, uh, before to this i am just removing that at controller first and then bouncing the server so that we can see how exactly it will behave in the current scenario uh, i think uh, while uh, in the start dot uh, java i have given 8 instead of 8 i have given the java version as 11 so this exception came now we are ch we are reverting that to 8 and uh, rebouncing the server let's see how it works yeah server is started now everything seems to be fine so now we are trying to hit both the endpoints uh, one is for error that is we are giving wrong identifier and we are getting this white label error page and the other one we are giving the right one and we are getting the response so these are the two urls we will, uh, we are hitting and we are getting the uh, response now uh, we are putting that at uh, uh, controller advice 
controller advice again and uh, we are going to customize the messages also with the uh, path variable which we are getting from the request so from request object we will be adding the identifier in the message also So we are hit. Uh, we should ideally we should get the uh, ID also in the error message. So yes, we are getting that. So this is the customization of uh, you know uh, messages. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our work. Thanks for watching again.